My name is Yishan, and I'm from Parsons MFA Textiles Program. I focus on utilizing agar as a textile material and exploring between digital, bio, and the recycling fabrication with agar. So coming to textile program with the background in fashion design, I brought in the question with me of how can we prevent using petrochemicals and create a healthier material system? So I learned about the potential of using agar to create biopolymer, which can possibly replace many plastic products. It's a simple formula, agar, glycerin, water, and the dyes. And the agar is a gel extracted from two main types of seaweed, especially gracilaria. But when we talk about using seaweed nowadays, there's also some concerns of the impact of overusing the natural resources. Um, however, the truth that I found out is 90% of the seaweeds that's on the market are actually commercially cultivated. And the gracilaria is the world's most cultivated seaweed and the 70% 7 of them are from China. So I actually honestly find it hard to source in agar in New York because most of them are from Asia. But the reason for me to continue doing this research was because when I was looking at the history of Gracilaria in where I'm from, which is Taiwan, I realized it's the first place to ever successfully cultivate the seaweed in, in 1960s. It has the environmental and the technological advantages to cultivate this seaweed, but for some reason, it just the industry shrinked to almost none in to, to 2002 uh, because it's just moved to some other places that's cheaper. So I see this as a chance to show people new potentials of what this material can do, and uh, at least bring in new values of the uh, new values to the cultivation of this. This, this seaweed in my homeland and possibly to other parts of the world as well. And uh, so different proportion, different ingredients give this material totally different look. I also try to mix it with leftover walls for a interior tiles project, which actually aids insulation properties to agar. And uh, I also explore different interlocking systems for better assembly efficiencies. So all tiles. And uh, since it's something that needs to be done in the kitchen, I started it without second thoughts to color them with food waste and uh, created a wide color range like this. And for me, AR can also be considered as a natural binder that glues materials together. So for this piece, I glue all the food waste together. And uh, I also experimented with some mineral dyes. Uh, which is mica powder, it gives this material another layer of shine. So I created this interlocking system for making sequin-like fabric. It can be fashioned into many different forms. And uh, when it comes to textiles, we can never forget about yarns and the weaving. So I also made yarns out of agar to create different woven and braided patterns like this. And um, so for me, this project is not just about a research into a material. It's also about uh, what's the best system for utilizing this material to fabricate, how to fabricate, and uh, what is the most efficient thing to fabricate. So how do we understand its personality and the develop it into a smart making system is very important to me. So I started to play around with how it shrink during dehydration and the thinking, oh, this material is actually, it can make very beautiful plants. So I created a mold making system using 3D modeling and the 3D printing technology. And uh, I call this process biosculpture. So you can get all this uh, lively parts by biosculpture with the 3D printed mold. So I make different parts and then I put them together. I break different types of flowers. And uh, when you look at the full flower industry nowadays, most of them are either made from plastic or it's a combination of various materials. But with agar, we can slightly adjust the recipe to make the whole out of agar, which make it 100% biodegradable. So as a textile maker, I always question about what makes a textile textile. Is it about the surface, yarns, or um, can, we, can it be units that make up textiles? 
like how Legos construct surfaces and even objects. So I created circular yarns that could be linked together and then can also link with the flowers that I made. Then I use them to create surfaces and objects, lamps and uh, handbags. I also use it to repurpose some old lamps that looks very torn. And um, thank you, Yushan. Okay. It can be anything between body and spaces. And just a quick review of the variety of things that I can do with agar. Also, so to conclude, I explore the relationship between human and the nature, and the how do we bring in nature to our environment with more natural ways? How do we create and analyze nature's creation? So I resolve to innovate, co-create, consume, recycle, and repurpose and discard materials with awareness as a textile maker, designer, and a researcher. This is my story. Thank you for your attention.